Hello, my peeps. How are you today? I'm coming back on here again because I have a serious complaint with Frigidaire Warranty and all its subsidiary servicers. Now, I bought a up, um, upright freezer in 2019 and um, for the past few months my refrigerator has been stopping and starting well stopping and I would unplug it wait a while pre-plug it and it would work the other day everything was defrosting in the freezer I called I had no problem that time I called and somebody came and fixed the the seal around the refrigerator was coming off. Now, mind you, this refrigerator is locked often time, even though I live by myself. It's locked often time. Um, and I cook in big quantities uh, for parties and stuff like that, for friends, whatever. So I have a fridge, a, a, a freezer full of tons of crab, lobster, wild caught fish chicken beef uh, liver frozen organic vegetables to name a few right so um i realized friday night that everything was defrosting in the refrigerator so i unplug it and replug it and i hear it start to work so i went about my business Something, I was in my room and something said, go check to see. When I came back, that refrigerator just kicked in for like 10 minutes. And it has not worked since. Now, from Friday evening, I've been trying, uh, from Friday night actually, I've been trying to call Frigidaire. Saturday, don't get nobody. Sunday, they're telling me the same thing. Weekend, call business hours. Yesterday, mind you now, I don't go to work. Saturday night, Sunday night, I don't go to work. I end up don't go to work last night because I'm hoping to save some of this food because I have no money to buy them back again. So, um, I um, called yesterday. Uh, after waiting for two hours on the phone, somebody came and gave me a number um to call for the service people to come out when i call the service people to come out they when i explain what has happened with the fridge refrigerator they said they have no uh systems you need a seal system tech i'm looking because i wrote it down seal system tech and it's a seal system tech issue and uh they can't they don't have anybody like that so i have to call back frigidaire I called Frigidaire the whole blinking day saying that they have training session, training session, training session. They say to, um, to call back, it's leave number to call back. I leave number to call back. Um, I realized that nothing is happening. I called again and again and again. I spoke to somebody else. I don't remember from where. And they didn't have nobody for seven days. I tell them I need somebody yesterday or early this morning i'm trying to save my food people i didn't even open the refrigerator i just take out the spoiled stuff and leave the rest with the little ice in there because i'm trying to hold on to them um this person even tell me about that i can apply for food concession if i lost my food because i can't get in contact with the company and uh inconvenience and my stuff ain't fixed on time okay Yesterday, I one time I hold for three hours. The next time, one hour, 52 minutes. The next time, three hours. The last call I made yesterday was 5 p.m. And they told me I left the number to call back and I used another phone to call and hold on. Nobody came back to me. Okay. This morning now. Now I have to call out from work. I literally took the week off work because I'm home alone. I got to do all these things. Cleaning up after this draining water. My house smells like it, it, it's, a, it's a butcher shop. Um, So I call again. 
they gave me a, a, a number to a A and B appliance. When I call A and B appliance, I what let me let me reverse a little bit. When you get frigid air, they make they tell you they make an appointment for you for the next morning with these people. But call to see if they have a cancellation for the day. So if you could get somebody right away, which I did. A and B told me that I did not have no uh, appointment for the next day because um, frigid air warranty cannot tell cannot make appointments because it's according to their availability and they don't have anything for eight days to come out and see my refrigerator. So again, I'm back calling again and calling again and calling again and sitting here. Can't go nowhere hoping to get somebody to come. Don't want to go to work because if somebody can come, I, I, I want to be here to get my refrigerator fixed and don't lose an appointment to get backed up for weeks because I need my freezer. Now I called this morning, waited over 45 minutes. Uh, I, I actually called get a to leave a callback number they call me as i said hello the call switch say this this is returning a call for shireen cardenas and um as soon as they say that you sh for you to respond it cut it cuts into oh we're going through a training session sorry for the inconvenience and busy signal i had to call back again i wait another 45 minutes for somebody to get to me. The person come to me and he gave me um, the num a number, but I recognize his number because this is the first number of the first guy who came out to fix the, the, the sealant of the refrigerator three weeks ago. Now, they're telling me they're giving me by state appliance service, sir, and they're going to come out today anywhere between 8 to 5 p.m. Okay, fine. I ask about my food, uh, to apply about the food concession. All these people is, unfortunately, we can't do this. Unfortunately, you're not covered for that. Unfortunately, this. Unfortunately, that. So, I ask the lady, what did I pay warranty for? She says, I just pay warranty for the servicer. And if I have to order a parts, then I call them and they order the parts for me. And I'm asking, why should I do that? Now, when I ask her, how long would this take? She's telling me the parts is going to take 10 to 14 days to come. People, you hear this mess? And I'm like, are you, for, are you people for real? She said, yes. So I said, oh, what, what about if it, it, replacement of the freezer? Um, well, it's up on the report of the servicer. And that's going to take time too. Now, where is the customer getting any help here? Where? And how... A warranty emergency service situation not have people work on weekends. We have people work on weekends in the food industry. Really? We have people work on weekend in the hospital is essential. And they're telling me it's not considered essential. And I said, what do you mean? It's not essentially for you, but the person who don't have no money to replace their foods, it's essential for them. You know... Every day it get worse and every day the rich get rich and the poor get poor and they don't give two toss about you. I really want to cuss, but I'm going to stay safe and sanctified. They don't give two toss about you. From morning, I'm trying to get somebody. 
and now this is what you tell me and like it's our policy and we have to follow follow policy and procedure this is how it is done so how does the customer benefit why do we buy extended warranty because when i paid for my warranty i was told in home depot that it would cover any urgent fixing any urgent this any urgent that if it need whatever i was told a whole bunch of stuff that warranty would cover now they're telling me the warranty i pay for just cover the service sir and like they're doing me a favor and any parts you need to order then we will order it free for you free To send these people money hungry, I still have a year left on my warranty. Only used it once for the replacement three weeks ago. And they're sending me letter again to, to, to buy more warranty. For what? Man, I am so bringle this morning. I am so bringle. People, make sure when you're buying warranty... For any appliance, from any stores, you know what you're buying warranty for. Because at the end of the day, it looks like I'm going to need a new refrigerator or freezer. What is this about? The Better Business Bureau need to do something about this. This is crazy. And each time you get frustrated and replace your appliance, they get your money and, and they never did anything for it. Man, I'm telling you, I am upset <laughs> to the umpteenth degree. I am upset. It's like you have no rights at all anymore. And they're telling me, oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, we do, we're not responsible for the food you lost. So who do I go to? What do I do? If anybody out there have any information on how I can rectify this matter, please comment below and or give me some advice. Anything, anything. I, I, I'm, I'm ready because I have lost Saturday day pay, Sunday day pay, and Monday day pay. And waiting on these people till they come, depending on what happened, I may not end up going to work this evening. Who's going to reimburse me? Because if I don't get, if I don't work, I don't get paid. Please, people, am I crazy? Am I upset for nothing? Please let me know. Leave your comments below.